Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson, and you're listening to To Be The Man. And, of course, we couldn't do it without the Hall of Famer himself, and you already hear him, the nature boy. Rick, what's going on, man? How are you? Good morning, sir. Fine. How are you guys? Man, I'm pumped to be here with you. Of course, we are home stretching it for a big event this weekend. We're getting the whole band together for moneyformongo.com. We encourage everyone to go make a donation right now at moneyformongo.com. But we're doing a podcast super show. Look at that lineup. Throw it up there again, Steve. You got Jeff Jarrett, you got Rick Flair, you got Eric Bischoff, you got Jim Ross, you got Tony Schiavone and Mick Foley all together on the same stage at the same time. It's happening this Saturday on fight at 1230 central, 130 Eastern. It's totally free. We encourage you to make a donation at moneyformongo.com. We're getting together for a great cause for a great man. Are we not Rick? Yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, um, as we speak, Mongo might be in the hospital. I'm waiting to hear. So this would be his, um, his third trip in the last five weeks, which is really, really makes this thing even bigger because um, he's fought the fight of a lifetime. I don't know how much more he has in him, but we're sure thinking of him. And I think uh, I actually was hoping that get him to be able to come down to the event. He's a, he's about a 40 minute ride and they get him up in, and they have a van, they drive him around. And so, um, not going to certainly advertise that, but it's my dream. I mean, I, I'm going to do my best to try and make that happen. Of course, Connor, I will talk about that during the week. But um, I, I think it'd be great for everybody to see him. I mean, I know he'll smile. He can't say anything, of course, but I think to see so many people um, in this room that respect him will mean a lot to everybody. Well, it will, certainly will mean I mean, a lot to him. Absolutely. And, um, you know, listen, there's been, uh, I don't think enough people know enough about ALS and what a terrible disease it is oh. and how it's totally ravaged, uh, you know, a, a big time professional athlete, you know, and, and not just in professional wrestling, but for the Chicago bears. And I thought, you know what, man, we're going to be in Chicago. Let's, let's do something nice. And yeah, it was, it was uh, a I'm great idea. What, I've been fortunate enough to speak to Misty a little bit and, and just understand what their circumstance is with, you know, what, what insurance covers, what does not, what the NFL is helping with, what they're not. And the result is a five figure deficit every single month. So every little bit helps, please consider going to money for Um, whether you were a, a, a Mongo fan or not, you are, you are a professional wrestling fan by listening to this. And if you're like Rick and I, you're a big football well, fan too. I got this from Mongo's best friend yesterday. Okay. I will keep you updated. He hasn't eaten in two days. By the way, it's Misty's birthday on Wednesday, so we'll wish this drops tomorrow. I'll be wishing Misty a happy birthday. God only knows she deserves everything in the world. Also, this is so cool of Conrad because money goes straight to the family, no one else, uh, as it had before. And uh, that, without mentioning by his name, it got distributed through somebody else. So, um, um, And then course something really nice going to me but that's not the point conrad your idea you're the you're the home run right, right now so well i want to give a shout out that's, Mon too. that's mongo's best friend john fight is covering all of the production costs on their end uh and, and obviously we're all paying our own travel into chicago and 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 100 i'm explaining all that to say 100 of the money goes directly to mongo it never touches our account we never see it we want all of it to go directly to mongo it's money for mongo.com I uh, hope you guys will check us out. I don't think this has ever happened before that collection of talent in the ring, because there is a wrestling show happening later that day on fight, the wrestling showcase, they're going to tape the ropes down for us, Rick, and we're all going to be in the ring together. And I hope that you can contain yourself being in there with Eric Bischoff because, uh, and Jeff Jarrett. I mean, he stabbed you in the head not too long ago. So I'll, let's turn, I'll be wearing a blade. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'll be taped up. Just in case, right? Just in case. Hell yeah. In case well, probably wanted to give me a slam or something. Yeah, just in case. Uh, yeah. I, I, here's here's what I hope, though. I hope that we can uh, have cooler is heads. It an is it an independent show that day? It is. Yes, sir. It's called Wrestling Showcase. They're going to do a tournament. Do Tony? No, no. Tony Khan is going to be taking over Chicago, though, as folks are yeah. listening. Dynamite tonight, Rampage on Friday, and their big pay-per-view on uh, Sunday, but Saturday, I think he's got the AEW Fan Fest happening. Uh, I think right across the street. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Fantastic. Okay, good deal. Um, what do you call, what word I use with them? I'll be um, discreet. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what <laughs> discreet? <laughs> you can't be discreet. He's right. I should have been at that party though. Damn it! Come on. I agree. You should have been. I'm his biggest fan. <laughs> Even though, he, even though he doesn't like seeing it, he John to be around me. <laughs> oh yeah. Everybody has a good time with you, dude. Come on. <laughs> no, sometimes too good a time. Sometimes too good. I've been in trouble <laughs> for that. I've been, I'll be in trouble for that this weekend. I'm sure. <laughs> no, you won't. Cause she'll be right there. Yeah. I'm going to come in a day early just to hang out with you Friday. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what, what time? What, I got bad news for you. What time are you land on Thursday? Uh, I'm, I'm, we're, we're doing the bus thing again. We got a driver. <laughs> so we'll get there in the evening, late evening. You're, you're taking the bus again. Yeah. What about the airplane you just bought? Well, this is easy to transport this amount of people and this amount of stuff. Who you bring with you? Uh, uh, our friend of the show, Cassio kid, uh, stupid ass Dave Silva. Uh, my lovely oh, wife, Dave's coming too. Cassio kid. Yeah. I mentioned Cassio. Oh, Clint Beckley. Who, you know, you referenced yeah. earlier. And, of course, uh, Clint's there. and Rod Wagner, he's my dude. He's our, he's our oh my driver, God. my good buddies. Would it be any liquor on the bus? Maybe a little bit, <laughs> maybe a little bit. Uh, Josh wants to know, I've been wondering, yeah, this we're going in early. <laughs> <laughs> we're going in Thursday. 